Okay, we got debris falling from the sky. The tornado is right here. Oh my gosh. Yep, there was an explosion and we are in the tornado. Oh my gosh. And there it is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. I am back in Teardown and we're going to find out what happens when you launch explosives into a tornado. It should be pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so as you can see, I'm actually in a neighborhood right now. And uh, yeah, we are going to uh, see what it's like when the tornado does go through this neighborhood. Luckily, this is a pretty abandoned neighborhood. There's nobody here, so that is good. I will say that this map is actually infinitely generating, so I could drive in each direction and theoretically it would load in, but I've actually turned that off because, well, I don't want this video to be a lag fest, so we're going to keep it like this. It's a decent portion of the map, and uh, yeah, if you want to download it for yourself, a link will be in the description, but uh, let's spawn in the tornado. We uh, won't throw explosions into it this time around, but... In the next time that we spawn it, we're going to see what happens when we do try to literally blow up the tornado. All right, here we go. And the tornado has been spawned. Let's go back to our truck really quick and see if we can survive this very fast tornado. Okay, it's moving towards us at a very quick pace. And uh, I did set it to EF2, so it's going to do some damage. But I'm not exactly sure what type of damage it's going to do. Whether these homes are weak or strong. And it's starting to toss debris, and I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's reaching the edge of the map, so we might have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna turn this way and try to outrun it. Oh, this may have been a bad idea. Actually, no, we were able to, uh, make it out of its path. Oh, nope, it's coming right at us. Here we go. We'll go down to this street here. Yeah, this is, uh, not gonna end well. Um, let's see if we can go through this parking lot. Oh, nope, here we go, and there's the tornado. So, that clearly did not end well. Um, let's go ahead and despawn this and take a look at the damage. Okay, um, we are now in a house. Uh, that's really interesting. Uh, yeah, we got thrown into the roof of this building. And, uh, yeah, it did seem to do some damage. Nothing extreme. It's, uh, pretty accurate for EF2 damage. Maybe just like EF1. We do have some cars that are flipped over. And you can see that this one actually crashed into the fire hydrant. Going into the air to get a bird's eye view, we can actually see the path. I do have it on multi-vortex mode, so we're going to have these other vortices inside the tornado. It does make it a little more realistic. It did damage the roofs of some of these homes, but I'm not really seeing anything else other than that. But yeah, that is the damage from an EF2. Now, I should warn you, going up from here, the lag is going to increase, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes, and this time around, we're actually going to try to put some um, explosives in the path of the tornado, and then hope it gets sucked up the tornado and doesn't immediately crash into a house or something and explodes, because we don't want the houses to get destroyed, we want the tornado to get destroyed, so it doesn't keep destroying the houses. Alright, I am back, the map has been reset, and I've got my truck with the explosive device in the back. Now, mind you, I've actually done this before in an older video, but I'm using this as an excuse to do it again because I think it's fun. So, we're going to find out what happens when uh, you uh, decide, for some strange reason, to load your truck up with uh, tons of explosives and then drive it straight into a tornado. So, with that, we need a tornado. So, I've actually upped the tornado strength to EF4. So, we're going to probably see a lot more lag because these houses which even though they don't have any interiors or anything they're still gonna like lag a lot when they break apart and uh yeah not really looking forward to that but i am looking forward to seeing uh this uh thing explode in the tornado all right here we go the tornado is on the ground we gotta move fast we gotta get in the truck and let's drive so i gotta be really careful you know what here's what i'll do i'm just gonna leave it on the street corner here and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna no-clip over to, uh, the McDonald's, knockoff McDonald's building, and here we go. We're gonna see what happens here. There goes the truck. No explosion. Oh, there's the explosion. It exploded in the tornado. And, of course, it did nothing to the tornado. We can actually see the tornado is moving so quick, it's just, like, tossing cars and stuff like that, which is pretty wild. 
It just took down a tree, and it's about to run off the edge of the map. So, we're going to take a look at the damage and also the explosion. Look at the damage that this tornado caused. We can see that it actually was ripping up the pavement. That's how bad this was. And there are whole homes gone. So, these houses could not withstand the EF4 wind speeds. This is pretty wild. You can see that this is an SUV of sorts, and... It was tossed into the house, but the tornado must have been moving so quick that by the time that the car was about to be picked up, the tornado was already gone and the house was half destroyed. But let's go find our truck if it still remains. I think, yep, there it is. It's on the roof of this house, which is pretty unscathed other than the fact that there is a hole in the roof. However, we were successful. The vehicle with the explosive device went into the tornado, and then exploded, and then I didn't die. However, to be fair, um, I was no clipping, so I wouldn't have died anyways. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. And one other thing I do want to mention is the cycloidal marking. That's just uh, ground scouring from the smaller tornadoes within the big tornado, because that's actually a real thing. That happens in real life. So yeah, you may be wondering, what am I going to do next? Well... We're going to make this a bit spooky. I'm going to change it tonight. We're going to add some rain. I'm going to slow the tornado down a little bit, and we're going to try to survive. It's going to be interesting, and I might not make it. We'll find out. All right, so here we are. We've got the tornado approaching us. It's moving fairly quick, and we've got to find shelter. Now, what I'm looking for is obviously a sturdy structure. We're not going to be able to get into any of these homes. We already know there's no interior, so... It's really not the best place to be because it'll just collapse or break apart easy. And there's no uh, interior walls to shield us from the exterior walls, which will probably be damaged. So, what I'm looking for is probably something like this. These brick walls are pretty sturdy. I want to put myself between a brick wall and maybe one of these homes here. That might be the best situation. And you can see there's the tornado in the distance. It's almost mesmerizing seeing it slowly approach, and whoa, I don't know what that was. It might have been an explosion or a power flash, but there was something over there. We're going to have to take shelter here in just a moment. Yeah, this is actually the perfect place right here. We've got the house, and then we've got this uh, brick wall. Now, I would never advise to do this in a real tornado situation. You always want to take shelter in an underground structure or the most interior portion of your house. But uh, yeah, this is not going to end well. Okay, we got debris falling from the sky. The tornado is right here. Oh my gosh. Yep, there was an explosion, and we are in the tornado. Oh my gosh. And there it is. So, obviously, not the best place to be. Well then, that did not go well. Um, I thought that it would save me, but the tornado was just way too strong. And... As you can see, it shredded everything in its path. There is literally nothing remaining where the tornado's core was. So yeah, I think it's time for one final tornado survival, maybe? That wasn't much of a survival. That was more so you try to hide from a tornado that's shredding everything. So yeah, we're going to make the tornado a little bit wider. And we're going to see what a wedge tornado looks like in this environment. Oh my gosh, that is a massive tornado. And yep, the lag is really starting to kick in now. We're going to stand on the roof of this uh, knockoff McDonald's, and we can see it is just a massive tornado. I also made it really low-based, which means that the uh, cloud base or the wall cloud would be is, like, really low. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty terrifying. So my view is sort of obstructed in the parking lot, and it really looks like this is just a wall of cloud approaching. It's very frightening. Now, I wonder, what would it look like if we sort of got in the ground like this, and we were like a tornado probe? What would that look like from this perspective? We're going to find out in just a moment. So the tornado is rapidly approaching. We've got all of these cars in the parking lot, which I think are going to go away in just a moment, because, you know... The tornado is absolutely huge and it's going to toss vehicles. So we're going to find out. It's actively destroying the building. Things are getting ripped apart. And we're going to see everything get basically torn to shreds in just a minute. The cars are starting to shake. The camera's starting to shake. I'm hearing things break. Oh, there go the vehicles. And oh my gosh, look at all the debris in the air. 
Okay, we are in the center of the tornado now. So that's what a wedge tornado looked like. And as you can see, the damage path is a lot wider. Yeah, this is pretty extensive. You can see that there was another um, off-brand restaurant. And it was also destroyed. There are cars tossed everywhere. And the same goes for our parking lot as well. In photo mode, we can actually see what all of this damage looks like fully rendered. Because in-game, the damage actually unloads at a certain distance. And that's just to make sure your computer can actually run it. But with all that damage loaded in, this is what it looks like. It's quite honestly frightening seeing how we've got perfect neighborhood on the left, perfect neighborhood on the right, and right down the center is carnage. So there it is. If you guys want to download anything you saw in this video, links will be in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.